Did you know you can buy disease resistant plants? I know, it's amazing, isn't it? No, <laughs> these have been around for a long time and they really do make a difference if you've got particular issues in your garden. So you can buy the plants from garden centres, nurseries, you can buy them online if you haven't got one near you. You can buy the seeds as well, so you can grow the seeds, to make, which is much more cost effective if you've got the facilities to grow seeds, grow from seed. But if you have a particular issue, especially in vegetable patches, if you've got a particular issue with persistent fungal issues such as blight, which we actually had a problem with this year for the first time ever, which I was very annoyed about. So that's life, I suppose. Um, if you have any particular issue, you can actually buy plants that are, are disease resistant, disease resistant to blight. And they'll generally speaking, they won't be resistant to every disease under the sun. They'll only be resistant to the diseases that mainly affect that plant. So as I say, like you can get blight resistant tomato plants or potatoes and um, seed potatoes. That is a really good way of managing persistent diseases in your garden and eradicating them as well eventually from your from the soil. Our diseases can live in the soil for a good decade or two sometimes but if they haven't got the plants to um, continue their life cycle if you like. I don't think diseases have kind of got a life cycle like plant seeds and things but yeah continuing their life cycle to keep spreading and that will drastically remove or reduce the time that they can live in the soil for. So if you've got a problem, buy disease resistant plants or seeds. That'll really help. Another good one for your vegetable patch um, is crop rotation. Now, in your vegetable patch, if you plant the same crops or the same family of crops in the same patch of soil year after year after year after year, you are increasing the chance of disease buildup in that patch of soil. So if you plant, say, brassicas like cabbages and cauliflower and broccoli in the same patch every year, then the chances of you getting of your of you no of your garden of that patch of soil picking up having club root or I can't even any other diseases that affect cabbages at the moment but yeah um that will that will increase drastically so if you rotate the crops so if you make a plan of what you're planting one year what vegetables you're planting where and then the next year you don't plant the same vegetables in those places you're going to straight away reduce down the risk of disease build up in that patch of soil so it's a very very good idea really very good idea. I've always crop rotated anyway, just for a matter of, I can never decide on what grows best where. So, and when I add new vegetables in, they always grow best in a different place. So then I have to rotate everything to move it so that one new vegetable will grow happily. So I generally speaking, I accidentally crop rotate every year, but yeah. So I have never had a disease issue in my vegetable patch until this year when I got blind. 